What is it that great sellers do and others won't do? Give us a, a mic drop moment and we'll end the show right now, right? Here no, we go. No, no. Let's do it. That's a lot of pressure, uh, but fortunately I thrive on that. So um, no, that's a great question, Mark. And, and you know, what's funny is how my answer to that evolves over time. Because when I was uh, in my 20s, I probably would have said, you know, it's charisma, and personality that really made all the difference in the world when it comes to selling. But I've seen a lot of people come out of the gate strong and not flourish over time. The biggest thing really is that resilience um, and also scrappiness, you know, that ability and willingness to do the things that maybe others aren't do. Um, figuring out what are those controllable variables. Uh, and I, I go back to saying being a student, being a student of the selling game, uh, know your playing field. Every playing field is different. But the reason that I've been successful in each playing field that I've been is because I understand all the things that I can control and the things that I cannot. And I try to dismiss those as much as I lean into uh, the things that I can control. Um, you know, how I prospect, how often I prospect, who I'm reaching out to, how I'm reaching out to them, and then just the consistency of my execution over time. And those are the things that have served me well. I think perseverance and scrappiness and really just doubling down on relationships and resources is what puts you at the top. Okay, you could be driving north on I-95, just north of Fort Lauderdale, 